Hello Vault Dwellers and welcome back for another Fallout Cookbook cooking video. Today we're going to be making the appetizer dish rolled death claw egg omelette from the Fallout Cookbook. So to get started the ingredients that we're going to need are six eggs, a half of a cup of heavy whipping cream, a fourth of a cup of room temperature cream cheese, a half of a cup of a finely diced chopped ham, half of a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, three tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of minced chives, and I think that's it for this part of the appetizer dish. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is whisk together our cream cheese and our heavy cream. So let me move everything out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and pour everything in the bowl. I'm not, all right, let's get our cream cheese in there as well. And we're just going to whisk this together just until it's combined. Might take a little bit. Cream cheese can be a little uh, hard to work with until you start getting it softened up. So if it gets stuck in your whisk, don't be afraid to go in there and uh, dig it back out just like I'm doing now. But it will come together and the, the warmer your cream cheese is the better this part is gonna get is gonna combine together and you want to be careful not to whisk this too much because you could turn your heavy cream into butter and we don't want that we just want to whisk it until this is combined Although cream cheese butter does sound absolutely delicious. Now I am not worried if there are a little bit of lumps in it at this point. I'm going to be whisking the eggs in here too. And that's going to remove any extra lumps that I've still got. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my eggs. And whisk these in as well. While I'm doing this, I'd like to remind you guys of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that Japica Death and I have going on on our channel. If you would like to be a part of that, it's really easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video and post it to your channel. Once you've done that, let either Japic or I know in the comments section of our latest cooking videos. Or if you are a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know over there as well. Remember, this is a community-driven playlist. It's you guys, our friends and YouTube family. Basically, a bunch of gamers cooking for other gamers. So get out there and show us what you like to fix for your friends and family. I think we are pretty good. There are still a few little lumps, but I'm really not all that concerned about them. But I do want to whisk this until it's white and fluffy, which really, if you can get a good whisk on it, does not take that long. And you really want to make sure your eggs are well blended in. Alright guys, I think this is pretty good. So at this point, I'm just going to simply add in my chives. Now I'm using some dried chives today, but these were fresh that I dehydrated myself. And these are going to reconstitute in the eggs so I am not concerned about them being dried chives if that's um, how you want to do them by finding them in the dried section of your grocery mart if you can't find the fresh. I'm also going to add in my paprika and onion powder. As well as my flour. And you want to make sure you get the flour whisked in really well. You don't want to end up with little lumps of dry flour pockets in your omelet. Guys, I think that looks pretty good right now. Get that out of my way. The last thing I'm going to do is stir in the ham pieces. And that is all to our omelet mixture. Let me go ahead and bring my pan over and we will get this 
in the oven. All right, guys, so what I have here is a 10 inch by 15 inch uh, baking pan, like a, a cookie sheet that just has a high edge on it. And I've lined it with parchment paper, being really careful to go up the sides without leaving any creases so the eggs don't go up underneath of it and bake around the parchment paper. And I've liberally sprayed it with cooking spray. And the only thing I'm going to do now is dump the whole mixture right into the pan. I want to make sure I get the hand pieces spread evenly throughout the whole thing. You don't want to end up with a clump of ham just at one end or in my case right there in the middle. Make sure you spread it out evenly in your pan and kind of the same with the chives. They tend to want to bunch up together. Alright guys, I'm just going to give this a little bit of a shake just to make sure it's even all over the pan. I'm going to pop this over into a 375 degree oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. And while that's baking, we're going to get the slaw recipe together that goes in the middle of this. So if you give me one minute, I'll get this in the oven and I'll be right All back. All right, guys, for the slaw recipe, we're going to need a fourth of a cup of mayo and a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt, one teaspoon of celery salt, three tablespoons of rice vinegar, and I've also got two tablespoons of honey in here, two cups of peeled julienne carrots, and one cup of apple that we're going to grate. So the first thing we're going to do is move some of the stuff out of our way again. And I'm going to go ahead and put the mayo and Greek yogurt in the bowl, as well as my celery salt and my vinegar and honey. And I think all my honey is going to stick in there. Alrighty, there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir this around and get it well combined. Whoop. I'm going to go ahead and add in carrots. That should help reduce some of the splashing. And I didn't want to go ahead and pre-grate my apple just because I want to get it straight into this vinegar mixture to prevent it from turning brown. Alright, I think this looks good. I'm going to set this aside now so we can get our apple peeled. And I'm just going to use, or not peeled, but grated. I'm just going to use a box cutter or a box, a box grater to grate my apples. And I'm leaving the peel on. If you don't like the peel, then you can go ahead and remove it. You just want to be careful not to go all the way down to the core. You don't want any seeds in your slaw. All right, guys, I think that's pretty close to one cup of grated apple. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in before it gets too brown. Get this out of my way. And we're going to toss this in to our vinegar mixture. Alright guys, our slaw is done. I'm just going to cover this and put it over in the refrigerator until our omelet is out of the oven and has cooled down enough that we can put this on it. So I will bring you guys back when we reach that point. All right guys, I have removed the omelet from the oven and I've let it cool on the counter here for about, uh, I don't know, about half an hour. It's nice and cool to the touch. So what we're gonna do now is layer our slaw into the middle of it and then we're gonna roll it up and put it in the refrigerator. So when you do your slaw, you kind of, it's pretty watery. So what I want to do is kind of try and drain as much of that dressing off of it as I can. Now some of it's still going to leach through. And that the recipe says that that's fine. That you just kind of 
uh, mop it up, whatever leaks out. Spread this as evenly as I can. I don't think you really want to get too thick of a layer because this is going to roll up. So we all we want it to be fairly even so that we don't have a lumpy roll when we're done. I am going to leave a little bit there on the end free of the slot just so we can get a better seal on our roll. Let's see if there we have any left in the bowl here. I think that is just about going to do it. Let's get this spread out and then we're going to roll it up. So I'm going to start from this end and I'm going to kind of use my paper to get it started and I want to roll this as tightly as I can and even so that we don't crack it on while we're rolling. So I'm just going to pull it back towards me. All right, let's... Uh, Push that over to the side for just a second. And we'll get out our plastic wrap. There we go. And I'm just going to transfer it, uh, I think maybe this way will be better. And I'm going to roll it in here in the plastic wrap. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Just until it sets up. And then this will help our omelet stay in a roll shape once we cut it. So I'm going to transfer this over to the refrigerator and I will bring you guys back in about an hour once it's all uh, set up. Alright guys, it's been an hour since I put this in the refrigerator. You can see a little bit of the slaw dressing has leaked out, but it will be just fine. The directions do say that if any of the slaw dressing leaches out, just to gently wipe it up with a paper towel which is what we're going to do as soon as I can figure out how to get this crazy thing unrolled. There we go. So I think what I'm going to do is remove it completely from the plastic wrap. And then we need to slice this in two inch sections. I'm going to go from the middle and then I'm going to trim just a little bit off of the ends just so that we have a nice even slice so it looks better for presentation. And then I'm going to go in half again. And I think in half again, that looks so uh, pretty close to two inches. I think we did a pretty good job getting the slaw drained when we were spreading the slaw out on our roll. So there's really not all that much. But let me move this over to the side. And we'll bring a plate in and get it turned sideways. And see how it looks. Huh? It looks pretty good. And I'm going to put the bottom seam in that, and then we'll just go like this with the next one. And 
kind of repeat that all the way across. The middle ones are a little bit soggier than the outer ones are. So there we go. There is our death claw egg omelet. I'm going to take one of the ones that are still over here on the cutting board and I'm just going to cut it in half and let's take a little nibble, see what we think about it. Hmm. Is actually pretty good. I would say it needs some green onion. So I think that the next time I make this I'm going to add some sliced green onion into the slaw. It really feels like it's kind of missing that component. Or you could um, garnish this I think with a sprinkling of sliced green onion and it would work as well. But yeah this is actually pretty good. I do get a little bit hint of the onion from the onion powder that we added into the omelet itself but I I definitely feel like it could use a little bit more but that's again total uh, personal preference I don't mind that the egg is cold in this it actually um, doesn't taste quite like egg it's more like a fancy uh, wrap than an egg taste but I've really enjoyed it I've enjoyed making this for you Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist as well as my Elder Scrolls and Fallout Cookbook playlist. I will leave links down in the description to them. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one.